if you're in this dispensation then you aren't in another dispensation the Holy Ghost is Holy God Ghost in the earth God today the earth and you today. walk with him by saying words my name is Holy Andrew Hemstrot thank you for joining us if this is your first time here make sure that you subscribe down below if this isn't your first time here consider becoming a partner with us and we're reaching and affecting people all over the world our mission here is to get you to know the Holy Ghost and walk with him as God in the earth today so of course I'm going to be talking about the Holy Ghost why would that be because it's his dispensation and he is God in the earth today well, well who do I pray to I've been brought up my whole life everything revolving around the father and Jesus and then here you come along and you're talking about the Holy Ghost being God in the earth today how do I do this many of the things that I say a lot of people have never heard before well if they've never heard it before how are they gonna have effectual prayers in light of that and if all they have heard about is the Father and Jesus Acts chapter 19 remember Paul shows up and he says have you received the Holy Ghost since you believed what was their answer we haven't even heard there was a Holy Ghost so you've got reams and reams of people out there who haven't even heard about the Holy Ghost so when I come up and talk about the Holy Ghost being God in the earth today and they go well well if he's God where how am I supposed to pray how am I supposed to do this I'll clear this up right away it's not my doctrine or the things that I'm saying that's confusing you you were confused and the things that I'm saying are having a hard time fitting in with doctrine that might not be right mm -hmm. and because we've been brought up in that doctrine for so long it seems uncomfortable when a new truth comes in and I can't quite fit it into my old what I thought was truth mm -hmm. but we're in a new dispensation say new dispensation, new dispensation which requires new believing new thinking and new understanding of how to walk with God in the earth today and this truth that I'm bringing forward is having a hard time fitting in with some of the things that were probably not quite right so I know this is new and different and change isn't always easy is it yeah. Yeah. most people don't like change but we have to change God's not gonna change so we have to change to walk with him I also find it curious that people will you know argue for their old way even though it's been ineffectual mm -hmm. <laughs> and I've been praying this way for years and years and years well have you had any results no but I'm gonna keep keep at it what I'm gonna be talking about today will be effectual meaning you'll have effectual prayers because it'll be in line with the truth and in line with the Holy Ghost who's God in the earth today let's get this straight I'm not saying that you can't pray to the Father or that you can't pray to Jesus but it's about being more right more right in our dispensation say in our dispensation, in our dispensation. See, because a lot of these things are just carried over from former dispensations and they don't work as well today mm -hmm. you understand so I'm not saying you can't pray to the Father or you can't pray to Jesus but it won't be as effectual as what I'm going to be talking about does that make sense yeah. and it won't be as right, as right. you ever heard the word righteousness yes. righteousness means being right mm -hmm. wouldn't you like to be more right mm -hmm. well James chapter 4 verse 3 you don't have to turn there it says you ask and receive not because you asked amiss mm -hmm. then you missed it you asked mm -hmm. but didn't receive because I missed it I asked the miss mm -hmm. well we're gonna show you how to not miss it we're gonna try to get you away from bombarding the gates of heaven you ever heard that I'm bombarding the gates of heaven how's that working out for you ah uh, not so well have we done that over the years oh I've bombarded the gates of heaven what are you doing I'm bombarding the gate why are you doing that <laughs> or even petitioning heaven now hang on here I've got a lot to say you don't even need to petition heaven things are different in our day the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today 
now I wrote this down on the way up here we had people in older dispensations they had to pray to and petition God because he wasn't with them mm -hmm. who's God in the earth today the Holy Ghost where is he in the earth. he's with you Amen. are you in heaven no. do you have to petition heaven to get him to do things for you no we're in a different dispensation that they couldn't even understand or access in older dispensations so this will radically change your view and your position and how you pray if you receive the fact that the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and he's with you he's the one that Jesus sent he's the one that the father sent to be with you so it's not upsetting the father it's not upsetting Jesus when we walk with the Holy Ghost that's the plan mm -hmm. it radically ch changes your position and view of yourself that I walk with God it's different it's just me and God Jesus is still in heaven he's going to return but Jesus isn't with me the Holy Ghost is with me mm -hmm. so the Father's in heaven Jesus is at his right hand and Jesus shall return if you are in this dispensation what I just talked about did the Father and Jesus send the Holy Ghost they did. is he still in the earth he is, he is. where is he he's with you right if you are in this dispensation the Holy Ghost dispensation mm -hmm. are you here this is gonna be important are you in this dispensation yeah. yeah if you're in this dispensation then you aren't in another dispensation mm -hmm. That's right. are you here mm -hmm. now are you actually here yeah. in this dispensation yeah so you need to be fully aware say fully aware, fully aware. of your situation most people aren't most people have no idea what I'm talking about mm -hmm. but you can be fully aware of your situation and your situation is that you're in the earth and you walk with and in a personal relationship with the Holy Ghost the one Jesus sent to be with you in the earth mm -hmm. that's the scene man mm -hmm. that's who you are that's how you walk that's how you do things mm -hmm. are you getting this there isn't all this other baggage that everybody else is trying that's that you simply you put it right down to its simplest form that's who you are and that's how you walk mm -hmm. so it's just me and the Holy Ghost just you and the Holy Ghost when you wake up in the morning who is it you and Holy Ghost mm -hmm. now is that different than any of the other dispensations it's extremely different than any of the other dispensations remember you just said if you're in this dispensation then you're not in another distance or an older one you're in this one right. now if you want to be effective how are, are you going to be effective in this dispensation or by trying to live in a different dispensation no in this one you'll be the most effective if you're fully engaged in this dispensation mm -hmm. you and the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. does this make sense yes. so if I want to have effectual prayers where are they going to be most effective in the in other dispensation no in this dispensation so here we have in 2nd Corinthians chapter 13 and verse 14 the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Ghost be with you the communion communion we know that Greek word is koinonia it means fellowship it means close and intimate fellowship it means the kind of fellowship that's a daily fellowship let's say you went camping with somebody in a small tent would that be close yes. yeah that's the kind of fellow we're talking about being with now who did it say that you were gonna be with the communion of the Holy Ghost that's in our dispensation so we're in close personal intimate communion with the Holy Ghost not with the Father not with Jesus they're both in heaven do you understand this who does it say we're supposed to be in communion with the Holy Ghost so would that mean knowing that he's God would we talk to him yes. Yes. would we maybe ask him questions yes. 
if you don't ask him questions there's something wrong with you because he's God right. he has all wisdom he has all knowledge he has all power he has all ability you understand and God the Father in his infinite wisdom and Jesus sent the Holy Ghost to be with you in communion in personal fellowship Amen. right yes. so would that involve talking yes. which is what we would that would be the number one thing of prayer wouldn't it would you have to kind of talk mm -hmm. to the person so our daily predominantly communion talking praying to every day every day mostly predominantly would be with the one Jesus sent to be with you in the earth that'd be the Holy Ghost are you here yes. if you talk to God could you call that prayer what if I asked the Holy Ghost to do something for me would that be prayer sure just a different kind of prayer right well there's other scriptures I'll take you to them later where he actually helps you to intercede for things who are we talking to the most the Holy Ghost from the beginning of the morning till you go to bed at night you're communing with the guy in the tent you understand the one that we're with all the time so 99.9% .9 of your communication and your prayer should be with the one that the Father and Jesus sent to be with you in the earth does this make sense yes. am I getting this across yes. we know the Holy Ghost is God and we're supposed to be in communion with him in our dispensation they couldn't know this that I'm talking about in the last dispensation they didn't have him they didn't know about Jesus was I'm gonna show you in a second he was very limited in his ability to say things to them you can't bear it now mm -hmm. if I could tell you this you wouldn't be able to handle it right. that's not us though mm -hmm. there's been a paradigm shift where now we can receive the Holy Ghost and walk with him and talk with him and it doesn't displease the Father it pleases the Father it pleases Jesus that was the plan I borderline think that if you keep going back to an older dispensation it almost irritates them mm. when you sit in your keep asking them and asking them to do something when they've already provided the answer for it and all you just you spend all your time bombarding the gates I'd be the first one to send an angel out there and say get off the porch stop bombarding the gates mm -hmm. are you here yes. all right do you know you're in the Holy Ghost dispensation it is the best dispensation to be in mm -hmm. it's a great time to be alive because we can walk with God in the earth they couldn't do it before so if we're having communion the communion is with the Holy Ghost be with you mm -hmm. right so can we ask him things can we pray to him communion of the Holy Ghost he's the one we're supposed to be in communion with mm -hmm. talking to not to just talking at he's talking to us first Corinthians chapter 12 and verse 11 but all these worketh that one and self same spirit who would that be Holy Ghost dividing to every man severally as he wills go back up to verse 6 these are diversities of operations but is the same God which works all in all say works all, works all. In, all. in all what God are we talking about the Holy Ghost all these worketh that one self same spirit Holy Ghost dividing to every man severally as he will so all the things that are done in the earth because it's his dispensation are done by this God called the Holy Ghost that you're in personal communion and fellowship with should you ask him things yes. so we need to get over this this hurdle and I'm gonna to try to take you to some other scriptures to help you along this path because we think we were all brought up that we're supposed to bombard the gates of heaven to the Father in Jesus name and somehow have them do something for us in the earth what they did do for you in the earth was send the Holy Ghost yes. to be with you are you getting this mm -hmm. so I'm not saying you can't pray to the Father I'm not saying you can't pray to Jesus but I'm saying it's not as effectual as you walking daily with the Holy Ghost as God in the earth today let me just bring this out here I, I really 
i don't say these things to try to irritate people do you understand that but i do have to say them and i i'm saying them to clarify things and the reason it, it irritates people is because they built up so many things on these wrong ideas mm -hmm. so here we, we see that all these worketh that one and self same spirit right and that it is the same God which works all in all let me ask you a question then if that's true is that true mm -hmm. yes. so all the things are being worked by that one God the Holy Ghost who's in the earth today it's his dispensation if he's working all of those things how many things are being worked by the Father none, none. Mm -hmm. right up to the front <laughs> how many by Jesus they're done they're finished I had this revelation this week maybe I'll bring it up now but you know when when uh, when the father sent Jesus into the earth he sat down and when Jesus finished what he did the Bible says it is finished what did he do he went and sat down where did he sit down the right hand of the father both of them are seated what did they do sent the Holy Ghost who's the only one working in the earth according to this verse of scripture unless I'm just making stuff up that one same God works all in all who's the one doing all of the things all of the work all of the answering of prayer in the earth Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. who should you pray to Holy Ghost. all right mm -hmm. so if so if he's doing all of these things there's zero action required by Jesus I have a message on that it's called zero Jesus action required where I go and I, I list these things same with the father you don't need any answers from the father to your prayers so who are you gonna ask for your prayers to be answered in our day and age Holy Ghost now don't get mad at me I'm just preaching from the word so my prayers with the Holy Ghost let's assume we believe this that the Father and Jesus are sat down at the right hand right and they sent the Holy Ghost he's in the earth he's God let's just assume I know this then my prayers become more of saying things that are in agreement with him than petitioning because we know that he's God in the earth today and we know that we walk with him by speaking in agreement with his word so my prayer isn't so much oh Holy Ghost do this for me my prayer should be by Jesus stripes I was healed it is declaring things that are in agreement with him is this making sense yes. so it's less about asking God to do something for me and it's more about getting myself in agreement mm -hmm. with what he's already said and does now I know this is new and I know you haven't been doing it but this is how you walk with God in the earth today and the closer that you can do it the closer you can walk with him and the more manifestations say manifestations. manifestations more manifestations of him manifesting in your life either through healing or deliverance or prosperity whatever it happens to be that you're believing and asking him for mm -hmm. this is the way to have it actually work mm -hmm. now if you want to just have some kind of religious something that you've been doing for years and doesn't work go ahead and do it you've been doing it I can't stop you but if you want to have some actual things work for you then you're gonna to have to get in line with the Holy Ghost and this dispensation and how he does things. so the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and that's how we do things now I used to get somewhat upset can you imagine that I used to get somewhat upset as I was coming into this, these revelations of who the Holy Ghost is that these people that I looked up to and followed and respected for years never told me this stuff right. I was like what is going why why have you told me this some of them might not have known like because they were brought up in those old religious thinking mm -hmm. you understand I never heard anyone just come out and say the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words so thoroughly scriptural and yet these people that should have known better have never said that mm -hmm. and I'm like why I used to get upset I don't get upset anymore 
you seem upset now I'm just excited but it wasn't their time they might not know they might not have known or they might have known but just didn't want to go there mm -hmm. you understand because everybody would leave <laughs> many of these people had messages that they needed to deliver to the body of Christ it wasn't their time and it wasn't their message but this is my time and this is my message mm -hmm. if you are willing to receive that the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today the one that Jesus and the Father sent into the earth to be with you it literally changes everything mm -hmm. if it's true if the Holy Ghost is God are you here yeah. if the Holy Ghost is God and he was sent into the earth and is in the earth right now the only part of the Godhead in the earth today if that is true then it changes everything including your prayer life if it doesn't then you're trying to hold on to something else and that's just gonna drag you down this is what the disciples of Jesus could not receive they couldn't bear it now Jesus said that to them, and they couldn't receive it let's go back there mind if I use the Bible John 7 37 in the last day the great day of feast Jesus stood and cried who's saying this Jesus if any man thirst let him come to me and drink he that believes on me as the scriptures have said out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water but this spake he of the spirit which they that believe on him should receive in the future yes. are you here yes. had they received it no. could they receive it no. no for the Holy Ghost was not yet given because Jesus was not yet glorified so he was speaking to people there but this message was not for them John chapter 16 verse 7 nevertheless I tell you the truth it's expedient for you that I go away for if I go not away the comforter will not come unto you but if I depart I will send him unto you when is that gonna happen when Jesus is not there so the people he was talking to at this time the people that he was saying these words to could not receive what he's talking about goes on to say this John chapter 16 verse 12 I have yet many things to say unto you but you cannot bear them now Howbeit, when he the spirit of truth is come he will guide you into all the truth could this possibly have been when Jesus was there talking to them no because it was about a future time when he wasn't gonna be there That's right. they would be able to receive things that weren't for that time that Jesus was in these were things where he was talking about a different dispensation one that he wasn't in so all of Jesus his disciples could not at this time with Jesus receive those things that he was talking about does this make sense mm -hmm. but if he says you can't bear them now but the opposite is true for us we can bear them now because we're in a different dispensation mm -hmm. he did speak of them but they were not for those people that were there mm -hmm. at the time until he had left you understand some of them would have been around when that time came but they would have trans over to a new dispensation at which point they could have bore it then or received it mm -hmm. Correct. Yeah. at the time Jesus was saying these things it was in a different dispensation yes. everything that Jesus said was when he said it not in this dispensation every word that came out of Jesus's mouth was pre Holy Ghost dispensation every word that he said everything that he did was not in the dispensation you're in right now mm -hmm. yeah. right. he was in a different dispensation we can call that Jesus's dispensation mm -hmm. is this making sense yeah. He was very limited in speaking about the Holy Ghost which we just saw in those two verses of Scripture we read he had to kind of say well you'll be able to handle this later mm -hmm. when the Holy Ghost comes mm -hmm. say when the Holy Ghost comes when the Holy Ghost that's a new dispensation that would be the Holy Ghost dispensation mm -hmm. 
but Jesus when he was saying it was not in that Holy Ghost dispensation so everybody he talked to all of the disciples all the people every his whole ministry was not in this dispensation mm -hmm. I think we all understand that but we need to get it uh, strike on our head because I'm gonna read some things that he said to people that have nothing to do with the dispensation we're in it had everything to do with the people he was ministering to at the time so everything Jesus said was not in this dispensation he was being revealed as the Son of God so he had to talk about the Father being God mm -hmm. and therefore in Jesus's dispensation we have a lot of father centric language because he couldn't talk about the Holy Ghost because the Holy Ghost was not yet given because Jesus was not yet glorified and that was a different dispensation so if we try to base all of our understanding of how we walk with God on what Jesus said in his dispensation assuming that we are in that dispensation we're gonna miss it because we're not in that dispensation That's right. Matthew Mark Luke and John was a different dispensation and we have to look at those scriptures from that point of view to be correct sometimes I feel like you got to just say things enough different ways to get people to get it our dispensation began on the day of Pentecost mm -hmm. where the Holy Ghost came into the earth Holy Ghost dispensation if we're in the Holy Ghost dispensation we're not in the former dispensation mm -hmm. so nothing Jesus did was in our dispensation everything he did was accomplished fulfilled and finished in his dispensation in fact he finished that dispensation That's right. everything he said was pre Holy Ghost dispensation Are you getting this mm -hmm. <laughs> so many people see themselves in the Gospels Matthew Mark Luke and John mm -hmm. because they consider themselves to be walking around with Jesus so I can see myself and everything he said I'm putting myself right in there are you, are you getting this yeah. So many people see themselves in the Gospels, meaning I'm going to take all of these things in the Gospels and apply them to my walk with God. They consider themselves to be walking around with Jesus. Who are you walking around with in our dispensation? Holy, Holy Ghost. Ghost. Where's Jesus? Real Jesus is going to return, which means if he's going to return, he's not here. You're not walking around with Jesus. But if you're trying to walk around considering yourself in the Gospels these things that Jesus spoke before our dispensation then you're gonna be amiss you're gonna miss it so many people see themselves in the gospel because they consider themselves to be walking around with Jesus wrong dispensation they're walking around in the wrong dispensation so now remember all of those things I said probably irritated a lot of people Matthew chapter 6 verse 6 remember everything Jesus said was not not in this dispensation that we're in That's right. and then let's look at the Lord's Prayer he says after that verse 9 after this manner therefore pray ye now, hold on here with me for a second who's Jesus talking to his disciples. his disi could he be talking to born-again people that were filled with the Holy Ghost no no because that's a different dispensation so he's literally talking to his disciples none of them say none of them none of them, none of them were born again none of them were filled with the Holy Ghost different dispensation so after this manner therefore pray ye our Father which art in heaven right we all know this hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven now he told his disciples in that dispensation to pray this prayer thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven was that prayer being prayed in our dispensation no. that prayer was being prayed by people that weren't even saved born again in that dispensation now hold your finger there we'll, we'll go back there I have more to say hold your finger right there Matthew 6 go over to Romans chapter 14 now remember he couldn't tell them about the Holy Ghost or that much about the Holy Ghost because he'd not been given yet 
uh, Romans chapter 14 and verse 17 for the kingdom of God is not meat and drink but righteousness or being right mm -hmm. say being right. being right so the kingdom of God is being right and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost he was having them pray thy will be done father father thy will be done on earth mm -hmm. as it is in heaven mm -hmm. the father answers that prayer sends who the holy, ghost. holy ghost look at here for the kingdom of God is not meat and drink but righteousness peace and joy in the Holy Ghost being right with the Holy Ghost peace and joy in the Holy Ghost is the kingdom of God all of the things for the kingdom of God are coming to you via the Holy Ghost he's the only one in the earth today does this make sense go back to Matthew in a former dispensation after this manner pray ye our Father which art in heaven thy kingdom come thy will be done as in heaven so in earth was this in our dispensation this was in his dispensation our dispensation we have the Holy Ghost he has sent the Holy Ghost. things are different for us that's what I'm trying to get across here things are different for us he said the kingdom of God is in the Holy Ghost righteousness peace and joy in the Holy Ghost the kingdoms in the Holy Ghost but to them it was not yet given they couldn't bear it or receive it we no longer pray for his kingdom to come it came in the person of the Holy Ghost so if we're still you know bombarding the gates of heaven with our father which art in heaven send the Holy Ghost then we're missing it we're, that is a prayer this is my point that is a prayer from the former dispensation it's ineffectual for us we no longer pray and petition God who's off somewhere send your kingdom your will be done on earth as it is in heaven Holy Ghost came into there now we say your will on earth as it is in heaven mm -hmm. different dispensation they couldn't bear it a lot of you can't bear it now but this is the way it is we no longer pray for God's will to be done we say for God's will to be done that's how we do it in this dispensation we go from pray to say like I said earlier they had to pray to God in that day because God wasn't with them you don't have to pray to God because he's with you you simply say what's in agreement with him which is his word so we go from praying to the Father to send his will to saying the will of God on the earth because the Holy Ghost is on the earth what's he gonna do while he's on the earth his will as it is in heaven if we say it mm -hmm. I've had other messages where I said he will do for you whatever you say he will do for you as long as it's in agreement with his word mm -hmm. this is how we walk with God the Holy Ghost in the earth today you can pray to the Father but what are you going to ask him for think about it use your noggin you want him to send you a Savior what are you asking him you want him to send out you say you want it you want him to heal you he's not gonna do it he's already made the provision for you to be healed you want it to know his will you want him to send you a teacher you want him to send you someone that will help you in all the affairs of life he already did it what are you going to ask him oh, I'm gonna go bombard the gates of heaven father do this father do that what are you gonna ask him the Holy Ghost is the fulfillment of all these that's why he said that the kingdom came in the person of the Holy Ghost so the Holy Ghost is the fulfillment of all those things what are you gonna ask him now I know this is different than you've been taught but have you ever thought that maybe you were taught wrongly I mean if we're gonna change that means we're gonna have to change our thinking change our belief system and when you begin to embrace the Holy Ghost as being God and walking with him there, there's a lot of change that needs to happen mm -hmm. you know welcome to the new dispensation it's not the same as the old dispensation and you're not in the old dispensation stop acting like it stop acting like you're in the old dispensation 
so what are you asking the father for I want to pray to the father I want to pray to the father I want to pray to the father what are you asking him for I guarantee it is something he's already provided for and sat down what are you asking Jesus for it's already something he's provided for and sat down they're not gonna do anything about it right. you want to lie my prayers aren't being hurt because they're already answered and you're just ignoring the answer mm -hmm. what are you asking the father for guarantee it's something that he's already sent he already sent Jesus he already sent the Holy Ghost oh God I need help mm -hmm. one of the names of the Holy Ghost helper. the helper mm -hmm. are you here is this making sense mm -hmm. people want to pray to the father I don't have a problem praying to the Father. I don't really have time to go through it, but there's a whole bunch of scriptures that talk about giving thanks to the Father. You can spend all the time you want giving thanks to the Father. Thank you for what He's already done. But don't ask Him for anything. He's already sent everything that, that you could possibly ever need or want. Are you getting this? I need help. I need help. Well, the Bible calls the Holy Ghost the paraclete, one called alongside to help. Who's He here to help? You. I need teaching I need ability him 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 also him Holy Ghost Amen. and then you start to realize well that was pretty smart of the Father and Jesus to send the Holy Ghost into the earth <laughs> yeah because they didn't want to hear all your stupid prayers <laughs> here we go you will get no help from the Father you will get zero help from the Father you'll get zero help from Jesus isn't this a great message yeah. but you know what I'm talking about now why because he's already sent the helper mm -hmm. Amen. he's already sent his word and healed you mm -hmm. Jesus sat down it is finished right. he's not doing anything else you're not walking with him you're walking with the Holy Ghost who's God in the earth today isn't this fun mm -hmm. and I believe the father sat down after sending Jesus then Jesus sat down after he accomplished what he needed to accomplish in his dispensation then that leaves us with who the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost. father's not doing anything Jesus isn't doing anything the Bible does say a few things like they're interceding stuff like that but it's all stuff heavenly then they sent the Holy Ghost Holy Ghost is the one doing everything in the earth he's the one that we commune with that we talk to so it's his dispensation he does everything and the more right I am with that mm -hmm. the more righteous I am mm -hmm. and the more I'm gonna expect things to happen for me so we're gonna stop praying bombarding the gates of heaven and we're gonna start saying in agreement with the Holy Ghost and that's faith you understand mm -hmm. thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven what am I doing here am I God your will be done on earth as it is in heaven please do that mm -hmm. am I saying that no I'm saying God's will be D try that say God's, God's will, will be that's how we walk with the Holy Ghost in our dispensation if you want results that that is if you don't want results go back to the old way without results but if you worship him the Holy Ghost and speak his words you will see results in your life guaranteed if you worship him as God and speak in agreement with his word you will see results guaranteed in fact there's nothing he won't do for you if you worship him and there's nothing his word won't do for you if you'll say it and speak in agreement with it this is the age of the Holy Ghost this is how we walk with him I walk with him all day long I worship him he's God I speak in agreement with his word that's how you are right with him I spend very little time praying or bombarding him mm -hmm. do you like to be bombarded by anyone just just stop it you know, like one of those little yippy dogs <laughs> nobody wants to be bombarded no we're in communion with him and we walk in agreement with him by speaking his word mm -hmm. this is the righteousness of God but this is a necessary message for people 
it is so much easier just to walk with the Holy Ghost as God knowing that he's the one Jesus sent and that Jesus is sat down at the right hand of the Father they're done they're finished with what they need to do they sent the Holy Ghost now I just walk with him it's easy say it's easy it's not difficult we walk with the Holy Ghost and we speak in agreement with his word and we get better at it mm -hmm. Romans 8 26 likewise the who the Spirit mm -hmm. Holy Ghost also helps so he's what he's in the earth he's helping our weaknesses our inabilities God help my weaknesses help my inabilities and that, that one of the most common translations of that word infirmities means sickness God help my sicknesses is he gonna do it is the father gonna do it is Jesus gonna do it no but the Holy Ghost likewise the Spirit helps our infirmities for we know not what we should pray for as we ought mm -hmm. and we can put the word say for as we ought there because we're talking about saying mm -hmm. but the Spirit himself intercedes for us with sayings or groan groanings that we couldn't utter on our own mm -hmm. he's helping you say what needs to be said Amen. let me ask you a question here because I can I can tell people are thinking this is the Holy Ghost going to help you ask the Father from heaven to be healed no. is he gonna ask look it says likewise the Spirit helps our infirmity we don't know what to pray for as we ought so he's gonna help me to pray to the Father in heaven to send some kind of miraculous healing down here does he need to do that no he's helping you to communicate with him mm -hmm. the Holy Ghost who has the gifts of healings you ever heard that the gift of healing yes. if you had a healing and it was by a gift of healing how'd you get healed Holy Ghost you might even have asked him and probably did while you're praying in other tongues it says he's helping your infirmities you don't know how to say for his yacht verse 27 he that searches the hearts knows what is the mind of the Spirit because he makes intercession for the Saints according to his will or the will of God mm -hmm. verse 28 and we know that all things work for good to them that love God they love, love God who is God the Holy, Ghost. Holy Ghost he's in the earth today and to them who are the called according to his purpose or who call according to his purpose are you getting this in our day and our age in our dispensation Holy Ghost 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 doesn't that irritate the father doesn't that make Jesus sad no it irritates him and makes him sad when you try to live in some other dispensation and try to, to badger them into doing something they've already done by sending the Holy Ghost That's right. Holy Ghost Holy Ghost Holy Ghost Holy Ghost Holy Ghost pleases the ones that sent him in fact you'll never be able to fulfill what you're called to do without fully embracing him as God in the earth today and walking with him let's read on verse 31 what shall we then say to these things mm -hmm. knowing all that we know about the Holy Ghost being God in the earth today and we walk with him by saying words knowing that we're in this dispensation and not some other what shall we then say to these things if God be for us who can be against us who is God Holy Ghost if he's for you who can be against you what are you gonna say to the things knowing what you know what are you gonna say to the things what if there's a sickness or disease lurking about what are you gonna say to it well you could just say that if God be for me who can be against me but you can be more specific with other verses of Scripture you can say sickness go away what are you gonna say to an old body part youth be renewed what are you gonna say to it this is where we're at here you understand I hope I brought you up to this place we now get to say things isn't this good what are you gonna say to a bank account that might seem like it doesn't have enough in it you're gonna call it full you're gonna say more than enough you're gonna say my God supplies all my need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus here's another thing I'll just bring this up what if I keep asking God the Father for some money he lives in heaven his currency doesn't work here who's in the earth 
the Holy Ghost you know what he would do he would send you the Holy Ghost if he could in fact there's a verse of scripture that says if you ask the father for what was it a piece of bread he wouldn't give you a scorpion and then it goes on a good father knows how to give good things to his children mm -hmm. how much more shall the father in heaven give the Holy Ghost to those that ask him mm -hmm. so I don't care what you've asked him the answer is Holy Ghost mm -hmm. right. what shall we then say to these things this is how we walk with God I really hope I'm getting this across to you you will be so much better off when you learn to start saying things and stop praying things right. because the Holy Ghost is already with you you just need to get in line and start saying some things so say this after me Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. I worship you you are God in the earth today I call my body heal I call every cell every organ every tissue of my body healed whole fully restored and youth renewed in Jesus name money I'm talking to you you come to me you fill my bank accounts to abundance and no lack I have abundance I am blessed and those who bless me are blessed I thank you Holy Ghost I worship you Holy Ghost in Jesus name amen